Greetings. I always want to do videos on products I like and this is definitely a product that I liked. I originally purchased these boots from Amazon May 2012. It's currently October 2016. So we got four years and five months out of these and basically they're still going but um, my family is starting to put up a pretty, pretty big protest on me, keep, uh, keep wearing them. Um, I basically have two pairs of shoes that I use. I live with four females, so um, the closet space for shoes is dominated by them, so I'm only allowed two pair, but um, in reality, I only want two pair. The other uh, uh, shoe that I wear is uh, Eco or ECCO, however you pronounce it, and uh, I, I love them. Uh, these are basically my work shoes. There's no steel shank, and uh, the uh, the soles last forever. Uh, this is my second pair, and I, I don't know how many years, but um, nice nice shoe there. But uh, this video is about the Caterpillar. Um, I purchased a piece of property about 12 years ago, and uh, during the winter when the snow melted, I realized that I had bought a rock quarry. There's a little sarcasm there. But uh, what we call it here in northeastern Pennsylvania is um, Pocono topsoil, and it's basically rock, rock everywhere. So I um, uh, really didn't do much landscaping prior to that. Called people up, got estimates. The estimates were totally obscene in what they wanted, and uh, so I decided to do, start doing it myself. I bought a tractor with a front loader and backhoe, and I really got into um, rock. I'm just obsessed about rock. So I'm um, dealing with a lot of heavy rock, and I needed something with a uh, steel toe. I know some people say that the steel toe puts you at risk, but in my experience and what I'm doing with it, it's actually saved me a few times. Rather than coming down here, it's usually the tip of my uh, boot that would catch the edge or whatever. So um, uh, the Caterpillars, the um, I'll just get right into it. For some reason, if you notice right there there and there on the left side of the shoe that's where the uh, sole had worn out um, the, the most and that that is steel right there um, coming through and I'm not sure what I do but apparently that's the side that uh, tends to wear the most uh, maybe when I'm dealing with the rock I'm down on that type of edge um, I wear these when I'm home and the dress shoes won't work, I, I'm usually in these. Um, very, extremely rarely uh, am I in anything else. And uh, so they do, for four years and five months, I've been wearing them, uh, if not every day, but every other day, and I'm usually out in the yard. So the soles, um, good, and but they're getting it's getting dangerous and winter's coming up, so that's the reason for the video. I just went online, and I started looking at the last time that I purchased them. Uh, and the soles are getting, I need new soles for winter coming up, so clearly they, they've worn out. Uh, the first failure that I had out of these boots was the um, right uh, shoe string, and that failed, and I've replaced it with a um, paracord, and I've, you know, the paracord's been going good since. But oddly, the left shoelace is original, and really doesn't show any type of wear or uh, potential for snapping or anything like that. That that's been the, this is the original shoelace that's been going. So apparently I tighten my right shoe more, maybe more aggressively, or maybe there was a uh, well, a couple of the looks like a couple of the uh, metal fasteners had popped out there, but the leather itself has not pulled or started to pull. It's still very solid. It's not ripped in any way. Um, the fasteners haven't pulled apart there. The uh, on this shoe, uh, this is the first real failure. I can't tell you a date on when this happened. It was pretty pretty far along, like just recently. Um, this started to go, and then clearly that creates the uh, um, vulnerability for uh, moisture and another reason to upgrade for winter. Uh, the, I do have a koi pond, and I work in um, a uh, waterfall that's uh, fairly regularly, and the yard does get a little bit moist, uh, given all the rain that we've been getting currently this year. And the shoes um, are, are 
they keep my feet pretty dry. Clearly, not now with the with that failure. So um, the uh, so in terms of actual failure points, it was the shoelaces and this after years. And as you can see, obviously, wear right there. But when I tell you that for four years and five months, I've worn them almost every day, that, that is not any type of exaggeration. The inside um, is still uh, pretty good. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know how well the light will go in there. Other than Labrador dog hair, maybe that's part of why the <laughs> so, has so much cushion is because there's so much Labrador dog hair in there, it cushions my foot. But I love wearing them. They, that's part of the reason why I don't want to get rid of them because they're just they're they're like a glove and they they fit my foot really well. In terms of sizing, uh, I saw reviews where some say the sizes run high, uh, run bigger, and I can't remember the actual size. I think I might have went uh, half half a um, size up, and uh, they were well. Let's see, is it on here? No. Uh, here we go. Maybe on the tongue. Yeah, they, yeah, these are nine and a half U.S. and uh, uh, they, I I really really enjoy them. Part of the reason why this video is going into place right now is because I'm actually going to buy them. So, hopefully, you found this uh, review beneficial. And uh, thanks for watching.